Welcome back. Today I will introduce you to the Debian-based Cumander Linux. The lead developer of Cumander Linux is Roy Hojgaard. According to Roy Hojgaard, the philosophy on which Cumander Linux is built is that Microsoft reached its peak with Windows 7, and Cumander continues from that base. Windows 7 was and still is a much-loved operating system. Some of you remember that it came as a savior after the disappointment of Windows Vista, whose beauty could not compensate for the many performance problems. Anyway, let's see what Cumander Linux is. As I said, Cumander Linux is based on Debian, so the installation process is the same. Of course, you will see a slight costume, but the steps are the same. The installer supports a wide range of hardware platforms, making it suitable for a variety of computer setups. It offers various installation modes that take care of the user experience. Although Cumander Linux is a development from the Philippines, the installer supports localization in over 80 languages, making it accessible to users worldwide. Automatic partitioning options are available to simplify the installation process for beginners. However, manual splitting is also available for advanced users. Ultimately, the Cumander Linux installer offers a comfortable experience for both beginners and advanced users. You can also use the live boot which is embedded in the ISO and so you will be able to test Cumander Linux without installing it. When Cumander Linux boots up, we see the welcome app. Here we can get useful information and guidance on how we can use Cumander Linux. Also attached is information about the individual developments that the system uses, as well as information about their creators. The information is conveniently presented in categories such as introduction, learn more, what's new, and so on. I also really enjoyed watching the video in the introduction, which really makes you feel comfortable even if you are new to the Linux world. The initial touch with any operating system, at least for me, is very important, because I think this largely determines the further attitude of the user towards it. In this aspect, Cumander Linux did not disappoint me, and my expectations of this Linux distribution immediately changed. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same for you if you try it, because every user has their own view. As I said Cumander Linux is based on Debian and that makes it a stable and secure system. The version I am showing you is Cumander Linux 1.1 and is based on Debian 11 and has kernel 5.10 and XFCE 4.16 desktop environment. As many of you know XFCE is known for its low resource consumption, which makes it a great choice for older computers or those with less powerful hardware, and can run smoothly even on power-limited systems. Because of this, Cumander Linux offers a fast and responsive desktop experience. Apps launch quickly and the overall system feels snappy. The combination of the Debian base and the XFCE desktop environment prioritizes stability and reliability, ensuring a smooth and reliable desktop experience. Also, this combination makes Cumander Linux convenient not only for Linux beginners but also for users who prioritize speed and efficiency. So if you have an older computer that struggles with more demanding work environments or want more speed Cumander Linux is a great option. I use the word style for Cumander Linux because my experience with it was wonderful. In general, each work environment has its own qualities and disadvantages. That's why different users have their favorite desktop environments. Overall, XFCE is an excellent choice for users who value a light, fast, and user-friendly desktop experience. But XFCE has always been a little rough for my taste, and since I like a smooth experience, I use Cinnamon or Gnome most of the time, and I feel more comfortable with them. However Cumander Linux showed me that XFCE desktop environment can be like that too. Attention has been paid to all the details, and the system runs very smoothly and pleasantly. 
the login window and the menus work perfectly, and I didn't find anything that I didn't like. Some of the things that have always annoyed me, like window resizing and mouse cursor work, here are excellent, and at times you forget that the operating system is Linux. However, I cannot say that Cumander Linux is a copy of Windows 7. Perhaps Cumander Linux has the style and layout of Windows 7, but it also has its own charm. By installing Cumander Linux you get all the applications you need to use a home computer system and even more. In the installed applications, you will find a complete package of LibreOffice, including Writer and PDF Viewer. LibreOffice is compatible with a wide range of file formats, so you can easily open and edit documents that were created in Microsoft Office. Overall, LibreOffice is a great option for anyone looking for a free, powerful, and secure Office productivity suite. If you are new to video editing or looking for a free and powerful open source option, Kden Live is a great choice for those looking for user-friendly and efficient video editing software. Cumander Linux comes with Google Chrome browsers, which are instantly updated to the latest available version. Although I found it on the Cumander Linux site, I also had Firefox ESR installed, which stands for Extended Support Release and is a specially designed version of the Firefox web browser aimed at enterprises and organizations. It prioritizes stability and long-term support over the rapid addition of new features found in standard versions of Firefox. However, if you want the latest version of Firefox, you can always install the standard version, which has updates every week. In Cumander Linux you will also find the Bottles app. Bottles is an application that allows you to easily manage Windows prefixes on Linux distributions, enabling the running of Windows software on Linux. Bottles utilizes environments called Bottles to create isolated sandboxes for Windows applications. It offers gaming-ready environments, supporting a wide range of Windows video games on Linux, including access to major game stores like Epic Games Store, EA Launcher, and Battle.net. Cumander Linux also offers installed most of the popular games in the past that entertained us on Windows. You can have fun playing chess, solving Rubik's, stacking puzzles, solitaire, or mahjong, as well as the popular 3D pinball in the past. In other videos, I have also emphasized that I am not a gamer, but with the help of Steam, I installed and even had fun with some of the games offered by the platform. The computer on which I installed Cumander Linux has a built-in video card, but despite this, I had no problems. But I'll leave the gaming performance comments to gamers who have tried or will try Cumander Linux. Even if you don't find any applications you need installed, Cumander Linux has an extremely nice and application-rich software center. Through the software store, you can install and remove Debian and Flatpak applications, as well as update the system. One thing I didn't like was that during the initial update some of the system packages refused to update. This was not a big problem, and I updated them manually. You can watch the video, How to Fix the Following Packages Have Unmet Dependencies to Fix This Problem. You can watch this video for which a link is attached in the description. I have encountered this problem with other distributions as well, and I hope the creators of Cumander Linux will fix it soon. To be honest, I thought for a long time about how to conclude the presentation of Cumander Linux. In the end, the system performed more than excellently and exceeded my expectations. Most of the time I felt at home, and not because it looks like Windows 7 which I haven't touched in many years, but because apart from the packages I installed manually, I didn't have any problems while experimenting with it. In the end, I can safely say that Cumander Linux is a stable operating system, with Debian behind it. The user experience is no different even with Zorin OS, Linux Mint, or MX Linux. On the other hand, the Cumander Linux community is still very small, but there is a working forum where you can quickly ask for help and even give advice and suggestions for the next releases. I personally believe that Cumander Linux will evolve. It probably won't reach the scale of other distributions that still have great financial power, but it can definitely be like an island paradise in the Linux world. I hope you'll at least give Cumander Linux a try, and if you feel the same way I do, just use it because it's impressive. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video of course if you wish to be together next time. Have a nice day and take care.